On a clear night in Manitoba, you may see all sorts of things in the sky. Planes, birds, perhaps even a UFO. Yeah, it seems our province is a hot spot for unidentified flying objects. Over the years, thousands have been reported for, uh, for again, a number of years that have been logged, and some are truly bizarre. CTV's John Hendricks joins us now in our studios. Now, John, I know you've been sifting through a lot of UFO reports. What's the ratio of Chinese lanterns to actual unidentified flying objects. Well, Barely, it is higher than you might think. There are more and more reports of UFOs being made each year. Now most are later identified, but some simply can't be easily explained. No way, it broke a sound barrier. I, I know. Late one afternoon this summer, Kent Graham saw something strange in the sky above Winnipeg, something he simply couldn't explain. Your eye goes to it right away. It was uh, like an orange sparkler coming down. Uh, the sparks went away, and it was just a globe of orange light that started just doing crazy moves. Moves he can't imagine any earthly object duplicating. It's unidentified, that's for sure. And just one of thousands of unexplained objects sighted in the skies over our province. Look at it, it's behind the tree, what is that? It seems Manitoba is a hotbed of UFO activity, with thousands of sightings stretching back to the earliest days of our province's existence. Picture this, 1792, that's quite a long time ago, and a lot of the West was still uh, generally unsettled. David Thompson was in an area that was now around Thicket Portage in 1792, and it was winter when they said that um, they had seen a mass of gelatinous luminosity um, moving through the air, and it actually approached them, and when it was in a few hundred feet of them, it dropped to the uh, surface of the lake and vanished from sight. UFO researcher Chris Rutkowski says Thompson had no reason to make up this story, and given the time period, it couldn't have been a plane or other man-made object that he spotted in the sky. Very intriguing, a mystery. One of the many compiled in a report he calls the M Files. Another favorite chronicles a strange encounter between a cube shaped UFO and a group of children in Thompson on June 30th, 1967. As they were playing, this wind came up and uh, this object appeared in the sky, and one of the girls who was closest to it started being sucked up into the sky by this whatever it was. And they actually had to grab her legs and pull her back down to the ground to keep her from flying off and being abducted by a flying cube. The incident was witnessed by the girl's father, the object by the mother, and neither one had any motive to lie about it. So I'd have to rank that fairly high up on the strange factor. Where does Kent Graham's sighting rank? Did you see that? Rutkowski was able to enhance the video somewhat, and the object becomes clearer and less mysterious. Probably a drone, yeah. Not an aircraft, it's not a Chinese lantern. Rutkowski says most UFO reports are later identified, but about 17% are officially labeled yeah, as unexplained. After being involved in this for more than 30 years, uh, there is a, a real phenomenon. I can definitely say there's a real phenomenon. It's not something that's made up. It's not hallucinations. People are actually seeing things. What those things are remains unknown, unidentified, and a chapter to be investigated in the M Files. Now, as we mentioned, there have been thousands of sightings across our province, the vast majority right here in Winnipeg. There have been 767 UFO sightings in Winnipeg, tops in the province. Carmen had the second most with 53. Now, Brandon had 45 UFO sightings. There were 40 UFO reports up north in Thompson, and the small farming community of Sperling was fifth with 36 sightings. John, most are chan a chance occurrence, but is there anything a person can do to increase their odds of seeing if these things? Yeah, if you want to see something, it looks like you can do something to improve those odds. The prime time for seeing UFOs in Manitoba was between 10 p.m. and midnight. So that's a great time to go outside and look up. Perfect. Thanks, John.